Hello and welcome back to the Coder Legacy channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring how to create your own OpenVPN server on Oracle Cloud for free. So if you're looking to bypass government restrictions or government censorship, or you're just looking for some privacy and security, um, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a very easy way that doesn't require a lot of setup. So let's get right into it. So navigate over to the Create Compute, in create compute Instance page over here. So let's continue. We'll go over to image and shape, and this is where we're gonna select a custom image. We're not gonna select any of these. You can set up an open open VPN server on Ubuntu yourself on the Ubuntu image, but that's just some a lot of extra work. The easier way that I'm gonna show you is by going over to the marketplace and by searching open VPN here, and you can find one from open VPN, this custom image that already has everything installed on it which is really convenient. And we can do this for free. It's, a, it's available on, if you go to specialty and previous generation over here, it's available on this particular VM type, which is free. Okay, so select this and let's continue. Now we don't need to do anything else over here. Uh, we're gonna create a new virtual network. I already have one from my, uh, I was like trying out some stuff but we're gonna create a new virtual network so I can show you the configuration from scratch and we'll call this OpenVPN tutorial, okay, VCN. Now let's continue. So, okay, and that's fine. We'll save the private key and that's it, great. All right, so our image is now set up and running, cool. So what we're gonna do first of all is set up our networking rules. So go over here into our virtual cloud network. Okay, let's open that in a new tab. Go to your subnet, go to the security list. Now you need to add a bunch of rules in here, a bunch of incoming rules. Add ingress rules here, just do all IPs from all IPs, okay? And the destination port enter 443. This is where OpenVPN will communicate, the, open, the OpenVPN daemon. We can just write that over here. Okay. Now I'll add one for the admin portal. OpenVPN has an admin portal that you can use to basically configure it, create users and stuff like that. So this is the rule for that. Then there's one for the VPN tunnel, which is at port 1194, VPN tunnel. These are the three rules that we need to create. All right, with this done, we can begin, uh, we can access our machine now. I mean, we already could access it before, but now we can set up our server. So copy the IP from here, go to Windows PowerShell or something equivalent on your client system ssh-i, then you need to get the path of your um, ssh key in here. We'll paste that there in a minute. You need to type openvpn as like this, then at the rate, then paste your public IP in here. Now I know normally that you enter the IP that's written over here, sorry, the username that's written over here, but this is gonna be a bit different, okay? And this caused me a lot of headache, but this is actually supposed to be like this. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'll just paste my path to the key in here. Okay, and let's enter, let's continue. Click type yes. And we're in. Now this is basically a kind of quick start. Um, we just need to like, basically just do all the default settings over here. There's no need to change anything at all. Enter, enter, enter do the defaults on all of these and everything will be fine. Okay, you can see those ports over here that we opened up and you want traffic to be routed through the VPN. Okay, and yes. Okay, so this is where you need to enter a password. Now this is important. Uh, so just type in the password of your choosing. All right, so this is asking us for an activation key because OpenVPN allows us two free connections by default, two active connections at, at any given point. 
Um, otherwise, if you want more, you need an activation key. But two connections is more than enough, really. Like if you have two devices, or you can get an activation key if you want for you know more people like your family or something. But we'll just leave this blank. You can always enter it later through the admin portal as well. All right, so now that's done. Now, if you want to access your machine, uh, don't use this IP over here. That's the internal uh, IP. That's the private IP of the OpenVPN server in there. What you want to do is copy this IP over here. Go here, type HTTPS slash slash. Then you want to paste in the IP over here. Then do slash admin. Okay, make sure you do it exactly like I just did. Now go to advanced, proceed. Don't worry, it's safe, it's your own machine. Now here is the admin portal. So type OpenVPN, which is the default username, unless you changed it during the setup. So type in the password that you set during the setup. Um, I mean the setup of the, of, of the setup over here, by the way. Okay, not the virtual machine password. Now just click agree. We just need to change one or two things in here, create a, create a user or two. See, we only have two VPN connections allowed. You can enter activation key in here if you want to, you know, purchase it. So go to network settings over here. And here, first of all, we want to change the IP. We want to paste in the public IP over here. Now just scroll down here, save settings, update running server. It does that sometimes, I don't know why, but just refresh it. It does that on the first time for some reason. Just log in again. Okay, so this it's updated over there. Now go to configuration again and go to VPN settings. Now go down here to this, okay. We want to change the DNS settings to have it use a specific DNS server because right now it's the issue is that even we can connect to this right now, but the issue is that it's going to be using the wrong DNS server. It's going to be using the internal Oracle DNS server so we can access the machines on the virtual cloud network that we created, but we can't access the internet. So what we're going to do over here, we're going to enter the primary DNS server as our local host and over here in the secondary DNS server, you can enter this which is the oracle dns server okay uh, or you can enter any other dns server public dns server which allows us to access the internet like google or microsoft 8.8.8.8 or cloudflare they have one as well a dns server so you can enter one of those in there and that's it click save settings update running server it'll update this time without without crashing now you need to go to user management and just create your user. Go to user permissions, give him a username such as admin. You can allow auto login if you want to. Go on more settings here, set a password as well if you want to, that is. Okay, and yeah, leave the rest at default. Save settings, update running server, and we're done with everything on the server side. So now go and install the OpenVPN client. Okay, and I already have this downloaded, as you can see, so I'll just run that. Once you've installed it, it's pretty much a one-click install. So once that's done, you need to go uh, grab your IP over here. You need to paste that in. Accept. Now you'll enter the username for the user that we created. Enter the password, and that's it. Connect. And it'll ask us for the password again. Alrighty, we're connected, but are we be able to are we able to connect to the internet? That's the real question. Most likely yes, because we can see some data transfer taking place. But um, let's just test something real quick. Sorry. What's my IP address? We'll check our IP address over here. And yeah, internet's working just fine. The reason that the country is Canada is because that's what my home region is. There's one more cool thing I want to show you. Um, then uh, the secondary benefit purpose of having the VPN is that we can now access the private machines on this network. So if you go over to PowerShell and type in the private IP, you can actually ping the machine, which you wouldn't be able to do before. So we know it's working. So with that, let's end the video. Hope you guys found it useful.